Crypto backed hedge funds are seeing disappointing returns on their investment, according to the firm Hedge Fund Research. Global hedge fund invested in cryptocurrencies have, in fact, seen a negative return. The, this comes on the heels of Bitcoin losing more than half of its value in less than a year, with a market cap dropping from. $300 billion to $100 billion. A recent string of high-profile hacks hasn't helped either. Additionally, a recent report from the Bank of International Settlements, or BIS, said that cryptocurrencies are more likely to suffer trust and efficiency breakdowns. On top of that, the Swiss-based group pointed that most people aren't treating cr uh, cryptocurrencies like money, instead holding them and using them more like speculative investments. On that topic, we now turn to cryptos and are pleased to be joined by Nick Spanos, the CEO of Zap.org and a pioneer of Bitcoin and blockchain technology. Uh, Nick, we're so pleased that you would uh, join us. We appreciate you spending some time with us. As someone who saw a lot of this from the beginning, where do you think we are in the development of cryptocurrencies overall? Oh, I think uh, we're going to be... Thanks for having me, by the way. Uh, I think we're right at the beginning. I mean... Um, we're uh, so early. I think it's like the wheel was just invented, and uh, it's rolling down the hill, and we're all cave people, and we're laughing that we see it roll down the hill, but we haven't seen the new innovations that are to come. You know, the bicycle, the car, the airplane, the, the steam, uh, uh, the steam uh, motor, you know, the steam engine, I'm sorry. The, all these things are, uh, to come. We're in the Flintstones and we're headed to the Jetsons. Oh, that's a great analogy. I love that. I, I may steal it from you. So what do you think are the <laughs> things, Nick, that, that cryptos uh, uh, have to do, uh, the people that are involved in this space, to be more widely accepted? And, and how does, you know, put my former regulatory hat on this, how does regulation play into uh, more acceptance in the crypto, of the crypto world? Well, um, you know, it's going to happen. It's happening as we speak. Uh, adoption is occurring uh, uh, in a, ge a geometrical, uh, at a geometrical rate. Uh, there's no stopping it. Um, companies are creating their own cryptocurrencies, their own tokens, uh, and uh, tokenizing uh, their services, their computation power, their ability to store uh, uh, information. Uh, people are purchasing these... Uh, these tokens and uh, uh, being part of the ecosystem. Uh, in addition, uh, uh, all the people that are uh, out in, uh, that have not been banked in the past have a way to be banked now. Uh, there's three billion plus people that uh, don't have a bank account and it cannot be part of the uh, worldwide economy. But uh, as uh, cryptocurrency becomes more prevalent in those areas and pervasive in those areas, uh, all you gotta do is drop an Android phone and a in a village and all of a sudden they can get a crypto loans to, to buy more farming equipment, uh, buy more seeds, and they can uh, be part of the uh, world economy even. Maybe their kid knows how to code and they can get paid in the cryptocurrency. And uh, it's just growing like wildfire. There's no stopping it. I mean, let, uh, let me ask you, want... Nick. Uh, I, uh, you know, I mean, I'm a former regulator, and I believe that they uh, that we need some basic, not overzealous, certainly don't want to thwart innovation. Some basic regulation, but not everybody agrees, and that's okay. Uh, I think if, if if there's something there that people can have some confidence in via regulation, it'll help. Uh, but do you agree or no? Well, yeah, you know. Uh, Regulation has its place, of course, uh, with cryptocurrencies. Uh, the transparency uh, uh, level is so high in comparison to what we've ha what we have now, what we've had before, that you know it's a, a better for regulators because uh, cryptocurrency is so transparent. The blockchain is transparent, immutable. No one can go back and change right. or fix the books from in the past. So uh, I believe it's uh, better for regulators. Uh, let me ask you, we, we s reported last week about William Shatner, Captain Kirk from Star Trek, uh, getting involved in the crypto space. And, and we've seen Snoop Dogg and Dennis Rodman and some other celebrities uh, get involved in it. Do these celebrity endorsements help uh, or are they somewhat a distraction and make it seem like uh, cryptocurrencies maybe aren't as seriously as I think you and I both think they should be? Well, of course, cryptocurrency and uh, crypto economics are serious and uh, taking the world by storm. And, uh, well, sometimes maybe some entities uh, uh, need a celebrity to get their uh, technology out there so people can uh, actually get down and read the white paper and see what their technology does. And, uh, but I think better uh, strategic alliances with uh, corporate partners or people that have more abilities 
such as uh, 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 Mr. Sean Combs, who's uh, part of our efforts. He, um, uh, you know, he's a businessman. He just uh, yesterday he was rated top 100 smartest business people uh, in the world by Forbes. So there's a little difference uh, in uh, what you know, what someone would determine as just only a celebrity endorsement. Uh, if you have a strategic partnership with someone who, uh, uh, you know, understands business and the business world, that's even better. I think, uh, if, look, if Captain Kirk says to get involved in something, I am certainly going to pay attention, and I'm glad he is, uh, quote, unquote, beamed into this space. Uh, Nick Spanos, the CEO of Zap.org. Thank you so much for your time, Nick. Hope you'll come back. Yeah, we're, we're boldly going where no man has gone before. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Take care. <laughs> Thank you.